going on YouTube, Car Leader, aka Smooth Flipper. And this video, I want to go over a question that I get asked a lot. So when I'm posting on uh, my Instagram or my Facebook group, I like to post uh, some of my new devices that I pick up. And sometimes I'll post a price that I paid for each device. And the question that I get the most is, why do I pay so much for new devices? Um, so I figured, you know, I got asked this question enough times to where I can make a video for it, so you guys can understand uh, why I am, um, you know, buying these new devices for so much, and hopefully it'll, uh, you know, open your eyes to a new business uh, venture or model um, for your business. So, if you do enjoy these types of videos, please drop a like. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, and let's get into it. Um, so. First, I'm gonna go back to about my first uh, three years of phone flipping where I was, you know, just that flipper that wanted to maximize profits each and every time. You know, if I wasn't making uh, 50 bucks or 40 bucks, whatever the case may be, if I wasn't making a certain amount, I didn't wanna go through with the deal. Um, if I, uh, you know, had to drive a certain amount, I didn't wanna go through with it. Um, there was a lot of things that I was that I was doing that when I look back at it was was not the right way to do things. Um, you know, I was making money, but uh, I did pass up on a lot of deals just because they didn't meet my criteria. Now, that was only because um, I had capital issues, so I didn't have much money to work with from the start. Um, it took some time to to build it up. Uh, you know, I was in college at the time, so you know, my first couple, my first years in college, actually. So um, I didn't, you know, I didn't really care. The money I made was just was spent um, on whatever. You know, I wasn't the type to buy like a bunch of clothes or nothing, but you know, I would go out with friends and stuff like that. Um, you know, so typical college kid stuff. Anyways, over the time, the um, the business model changed. So the more and more people I've talked to um, who's been in this business a lot longer than I have, um, who buy new devices, who, who put me on to new devices saying, hey, you need to start buying the new, these new devices um, because there are people who, who buy them and then send them over, overseas to different countries to make a profit. So um, at first I was like, okay, let me, let me look into, I was kind of, I was kind of hesitant about it just because, um, you know, a lot of people were saying, you know, new devices, uh, you, it's hard to trust people with new devices. You know, you can get, you can open the box and there's a bunch of rocks in there and you know, all these different things that people were saying that, you know, when I was, um, you know, my, my second, third year in, I was like, maybe they're right. You know, it's something that I didn't, I didn't understand yet. So over time, the business model changed. My capital went up. Um, I realized that, you know, I can afford, I can afford buying these new devices. Um, you know, wh whatever the price may be, I can, I can afford a lot to buy multiple of these new devices. Um, so I figured, you know, why restrict myself from just buying used, used crack um, phones when there's a, there's a whole new market of new devices that I can buy. So, you know, um, for me, it happened over time. It, it kind of happened late into my phone flipping um, journey, but it did happen once I kind of gave in, talked to more people about it. Um, you know, got some different buyers lists. You know, from from those who do buy new devices and saw how much they were paying, and I was like, man, this is this is probably going to work for me if I if I get to it. So I started advertising for it, um, and started being on the lookout for these new devices. And you know, um, found some people who can who can help me get more devices and stuff like that. So it all it all kind of happened over time. It wasn't just a quick you know uh, month of me doing all this. It happened over time. Um, so so the business model changed. That's why I, that, that's why I am buying more new devices now because of the capital. Um, another reason why I am buying these new devices for so much is that I need to be competitive. Um, so if you're thinking about pricing and and those who are selling things um, they want to be competitive with others who are who are selling the same thing so if you got uh, I always use this example but Target and Walmart if they have um, a blanket for sale same type of blanket 
and Walmart selling it for twenty five. Um, I don't think it wouldn't be smart for Target to sell it for um, fifty five. It's the same exact blanket. People are just gonna go to Walmart. So Target has to be just as competitive uh, with selling this item as Walmart. So they could say, well, we'll sell it for twenty twenty four ninety five. And um, you know Walmart, Walmart selling it for twenty five even. So that's the same concept uh, when you're buying. You know you got people who are paying top dollar for these devices, and you have to be at least somewhat competitive. You know you can't be three hundred dollars less than what these people are paying for these devices because then nobody's going to go to you. Nobody's going to want to do business with you. But what I've seen and what I've heard from people who who I buy phones from is that I am. I was the highest price. So they say, well, I, I contacted others uh, who also buy new devices and you came out to be the highest. So that's a good sign for me because that means more people will come to me and then they can recommend uh, me to their friends and say, well, this guy pays the most. You probably want to go with him. So that's why I do pay so much because you have to be competitive. Um, you know, it would be great to pay uh, $300 less than what I'm getting, what I'm getting these phones for when I send them off to my buyer. But you know, I'm not gonna get much. I'm not gonna get many devices. I'm not, just just keep it that way. I'm not gonna get many devices. If I'm if I'm offering um, 600 bucks for an iPhone X sealed, um, unlocked, then I'm not gonna get many of them. It's gonna be good if I do buy a couple of them because they're gonna be those big chunks of profit. But uh, in reality, I won't get as many, you know, because those prices are way too low. So I need to be competitive. So when you're when you're wanting to when you're wanting to buy devices, um, you just have to be competitive. Whether it's new, used, uh, cracked, you know, because a lot of these people are getting smart. They're starting to see more and more people who are you know buying devices. That they'll go through the entire list with the same device and, and see who pays out the most. So you want to be at least competitive. You know, you you don't want to um, be offering forty bucks when the next buyer offered a hundred, um, just because you're trying to maximize that profit. If you can offer 80 and say you can meet now, then that kind of sets you apart. Um, and that 20 bucks won't be much. So just be competitive. Um, I, I understand that I do need to be competitive with new, with new devices because a lot of people are starting to buy them. And, um, you know, as much as it would be, you know, great to, to maximize those profits like that for each unit, um, I know that I can't do that because I, I won't be getting many units if I do that. So last thing I want to go over is, is one of the most important things that I wanted to go over and just letting you guys know um, there's a lot of people who are focused on the home run. So I went over this before in a previous video, but they want to, they want to go after that home run. They want to spend, you know, 300 bucks on an iPhone X and sell it for 800. You know, they want that big, that big $500 profit on one phone. Um, but you know, and I was the same way when I first started, I was the same exact way, uh, talked to some people, realized that, you know, profit is profit at the end of the day. You know, you could say, um, I made 500 bucks today, but I only spent 300. So I spent 300, sold it for 800, made 500 bucks. I can say, well, I spent, uh, $4,000 today. And, and made 500 bucks. So at the end of the day, you still made 500 bucks between both both uh, people. So you got somebody who invested more, their margins are a lot lower, but they still made 500 bucks. This person, uh, they, have a, they have a high profit margin, but they still made the same amount of money that day. So that's something that I had to get uh, and understand that profit is profit at the end of the day. So if I'm, if I'm buying a device for 900 bucks, if I'm buying, let's say I buy five devices for 900 bucks, um, that is what, uh, 4,500, if I'm, if my math is correct, five devices, 900 bucks, $4,500 invested. If I make a hundred bucks on each unit, that's $500 profit, but I spent $4,500, um, you know, versus someone else who's doing that. Who's spending a lot less and still making 500? I still made 500. They still made 500. The difference is the capital. So this goes back to that capital. Uh, if you have a capital issue, then yeah, it wouldn't be smart to, to be spending so much on these devices if you don't have 
you know, any more money to, to flip other phones. But if you are in a position where you can spend, you, you know, you got a good amount of money to work with and spending 4500 to make 500 is nothing, then by all means, go ahead and do that. You know, um, a lot of people get caught up into that, into that. Uh, well, I spent this low amount and I made this high now when at the end of the day, it's all the same. Um, when it comes to that profit number, so that those profit numbers are, are the same. It does not matter how you got it. it. Does not matter what you spent on the item. You know, if you guys are comparing each other, um, you still made five hundred bucks. So that's something that I did want to uh, talk about with you guys uh, as to why I'm paying so much for these new devices. Hopefully, you guys can uh, understand this more. Hopefully, you guys can incorporate this in your business and. Um, if you do, again, enjoy these types of videos, please, you know, drop a like. That helps me a lot with the YouTube algorithm and get my videos pushed out. Uh, if you do enjoy them, comment down below some, some other techniques you might be using. And I will see you guys in the next video.